Today I've got some real design treasure for you all, as I've got some hot and some free resources for graphic designers in 2020. Now we're talking about fonts, templates, inspiration, and all kinds of creative goodies. Sponsoring today's video is Millinote, the best place to plan and streamline your next graphic design project. Millinote allows you to generate ideas and concepts with ease, and then to evolve those creations to final design solutions. As you probably know, I use Millinote myself for my design projects, and you can learn more about their awesome project planning software later in today's video, and just how helpful Millinote can be for your creative design process. So the first resource is a really neat place to find fonts for commercial use. Now I've mentioned Font Squirrel in the past, which is also a great website, but today we're looking at Font Fabric. One thing that is great about this resource is the aesthetics. I mean, just take a look at how neat this homepage looks. Having a browse around the categories, we have a lot on offer, but let's head into the sans serif menu and take a little look. Again, this site has a very neat and a well thought out design, something that isn't missed on passionate designers like myself, I'm sure. So here is one of my favorite font families, and again, just take a look at the neat header displaying the font's name. You can download it for free, and the key thing here is that you have the approval to use this font for commercial projects. But yeah, do read each license before downloading and using the fonts. Now at the bottom it shows related fonts, and in this instance it doesn't actually fit the font at all to be honest. But finally with this website you can see the font in action by checking out the font tester section. You have options to adjust and test the font of your choice to see how it functions in real life. Now this is a great font library and catalogue, and like all items today it's linked down below. But let's move on to the second resource in today's video. Logo Moose is a source of inspiration for logo designers, and it does have quite a large catalogue of existing designs. Now I'm personally a huge fan of something called Logo Lounge, and if you're aware of their books and their website, you will know how awesome it is. But that service is $100 per year, but today we have a free resource. Each logo is graded out of 5 stars, and you can find the authors here, below, and how many logos they've actually uploaded. Now I'm going to admit right off the bat that there actually are quite a few bad designs in this catalogue, but there also are some good ones too so that can spark your inspiration. So giving a quick search under finance as an example, you can see there is an obvious spectrum of quality, or at least that's what I feel like anyway. Having a look under the awarded logo section, again there is still contrasting quality but I do like this calligraphy style logo and also the Leon logo to the right. Now you can find some inspiration here for sure, and if you really want to, you can even upload your very own designs. So as designers, we are strapped for time, and often we need icons to go on say a website or an infographic. And this website offers a nice catalogue of icons totally for free. And if we check out the terms of use, you can see that you're actually able to use them on any project, even for commercial use. The downloads are available in PNG, SVG, and I think also PDF, if I remember correctly. Now there is a nice set section here, which you can have a browse over for yourself. And again, these icons are totally free and you can use them on any project. Saving time in this way is often vital as a graphic designer. But of course, there are going to be times and projects where you want to be completely original and have a custom approach. Designers also need access to stock imagery, especially those of you who use Photoshop on a regular basis. Now, over the last 15 years, I've seen many websites come and go that offer stock imagery. But in 2020, I'm really loving this one called Unsplash, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. Now this website has some of the highest quality imagery out there and it's totally free to use. The resolution is really high on most of the content and the cameras used are obviously really high end as well. Now as you can see in this cyberpunk search that I've entered, the imagery is so crisp and so inviting and this is the kind of materials that you do want to be working with as a graphic designer. And so that's why I love Unsplash for my stock imagery resources. 
Also, when you download the image itself, you're shown the green light to use this content wherever you like. But it is appreciated if you do thank and appreciate the author of the content, but it's not mandatory. Now the fifth addition on today's list of graphic design resources is something for the freelancers out there who send emails or have an email list. This website has tons of templates on both design and code, depending on what you're looking for. So you can wow a client or a potential client with a neat little email, or you can send out a high-end email to notify your email list. So to download the email templates, you do need to register an account, but it's totally free, so it's not really a big deal to be honest. There are handy category sections to look at, and I really think this template here on the far right looks very, very interesting. I've recently found this resource myself, so I'm going to be using it a whole lot in 2020 for my graphic design business and workflow. This next design resource is a kind of a mix mash of things because you can find daily graphic design freebies from things like mockups, templates, fonts, and much, much more. You can browse over the homepage to see the latest freebies, or you can just head into one of the categories such as mockups, for example. And of course, there is also that search bar to use. But yeah, this site is really handy and it's updated with new additions on a regular basis. What kind of designer can actually deny or throw up graphic design freebies? But let's move on to the next item in today's video of graphic design resources. I probably have mentioned this one in past videos on my channel, but I've been using it for a long time now and that is Graphic Burger. Like the last example, you can find a lot of different things on here from template kits, graphics, mockups, and much, much more. I use it a lot for mockups alone because I do like to use mockups for various design projects in my workflow, as well as uh, for making YouTube videos for you guys. As you might know, I like designing posters quite a lot. And as you can see, there is a nice selection to choose from here. You often will actually be directed away from Graphic Burger to the actual download page of the item. But yeah, do check out this resource because there is quite a lot for you to choose from and make use of. And again, of course, it's 100% free. Just be sure to check all licenses before using any resource in today's video. Now, lastly, today we have a fast and a handy image compressor. So often when working on a project, we want to keep the file size as low as possible. And so using large imagery is going to bump things up quite a bit. This tool allows you to upload a JPEG, PNG, GIF or SVG, and then you can compress it while still retaining quality. So let's give it a try and see if we can see any difference in the actual image quality itself. The left being the original and the right being the end result. So they're pretty much identical if you ask me. And so like everything else you've seen today, it's free and you can find it linked down below. But yeah, big thanks to Millinote for sponsoring today's video. I really do highly recommend it and I've been using it for nearly two years now myself. You can easily streamline your creative process from start to finish on any project that you're working on, but also it's very easy to share your ideas and your projects with other clients or even work colleagues. So yeah, do check out the links down below for more information on Millinotes and start streamlining your creative design process in a more efficient way today. So yeah, let me know which resource you found most useful today and which ones you're gonna be using in 2020. Do subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. And until next time, design your future today. Peace.